Let's get to it. All right, YouTube, what is going on? Table Sean back at it with some Destiny. Got some more Ticket King footage for you guys. We're going to go over the weapons that were in this build that I played at E3 and was able to record. Now, apologies for my tardiness in this. I thought I made a video on this. No, I made a video on all of the armor. See, guys, when I got home from E3, you're just so stressed out. You're trying to get as many videos up as possible because everyone's uploading footage from Dickon King, and I totally forgot. So um, we're going to go through these weapons that uh, I had available to me when I was uh, playing PvP, playing Rift, and playing Mayhem, and uh, you got to keep in mind, this is a, what, pre-alpha, something alpha, I don't know, some sort of build. I think Luke Smith said publicly that it was a... Uh, uh, poor build or something, just a real early build. So let's go in and take a look at the weapons that I had available. Of course, I was using the auto rifle and the shotgun, and God, the auto rifle sounded so good. But let's go in and take a look and see um, what I was able to see. But remember, all the stuff that I'm going to show you is uh, not set in stone. Okay, a lot of it's just placeholders. The weapons don't even have attack values on it. So let's go in and take a look. I'm not going to try to butcher this name, guys. You guys <laughs> spell it phonetically in the comment section. Uh, no new perks, but um, had a, a cool new site, which you saw in, um, in the beginning of the game, which kind of looked like a, an advanced warfare site, like a Call of Duty one. But it had hot swap, glass half full, high caliber rounds, hand loaded, and then I believe, that uh, was that, small board? Yeah. So a uh, very high rate of fire, but low impact, but damn fun gun, and it sounded so good. Now, I tried this hand cannon on a few times. First of all, it looks cool and it sounded cool. Well, it kind of had the pew 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 type sound to it. Uh, the Kumakatak HC4. Uh, so, your typical sights that you're familiar with. This one came with Grenadier Unlock. Not very useful for playing PvP. But here you can see now you've got the options kind of like with the armor. Okay, so you could choose Lightweight or Injection Mold. Then you got this one called Life Support, where if you're bloodied and you get a kill, you have a chance to recharge your health. Then Eye of the Storm is if uh, the lower your health is, the more accurate the weapon is. Now, next up on the menu, uh, we got a Scott Rifle. I think it's called the Cositas, if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, a number of different sites that uh, I've never heard of before in terms of the names. Got the Candle IS-2, what else? Torch HS-2, and then Signal MS-5. So check this one out, Bloodied Mag. So chance to refill this weapon's magazine when you're bloody. Then you could choose between Lightweight or Small Bore. We're gonna see Eye of the Storm again, and you could choose from Firefly. So I really hope they go in this direction in the final build in terms of, uh, just like with armor, you could choose whether you want one or the other in a certain skill tree. Now we're going to see a sibling to the Soros Regiment, the uh, Soros PDX-45, which you can see by the paint scheme and everything. Uh, it does look like a Soros. Uh, no new perks on here, but again, you see the customization that you can choose between one or the other based on the situation you're in. So some new sites here, the SLO, the SPO, and then also the SRO. But uh, the next one, you can either choose from uh, high caliber rounds or what's called a feathered mag. So faster reload, reduce magazine size. This one came with full auto. And then for the last one, you could choose either single point sling or you can max out your stability and go with hand laid stock. Next up is the shotgun I was using the whole time. Uh, definitely not a felt once as lie. The Jing Gu Koko Koko or something. Oh god, these names. I think these names are all a goof, I swear. Uh, but check out some of these new perks here, okay? This first one here you're gonna see is the last resort. So if you're the last person alive on your fire team, it's gonna handle and also reload faster. Then you've got awareness where kills with this weapon enhance your motion tracker for a little bit. You got flared magwell, fitted stock, and then also oil frame. Yeah, a lot of you guys pointed out in my uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly video when I used Tick and King footage, my radar went crazy for a little bit. That was that perk, I think. Now check this out, Iron Banner Sidearm, called Iron Wreath. How freaking cool is this, okay? I mean, very low impact, very high fire rate, I guess would be expected of a sidearm. Uh, has one really freaking cool perk. Uh, Zen Moment was one of the first ones, but check it out. Uh, partial refund, so a chance to return a portion of your magazine from assists. That could be really freaking useful. Uh, the rest in the end were just our standard perks, but that partial refund sounds really cool. You just pepper away at people, and then if you get, get an assist from it, it might refill your magazine. All right, then we got a really delicious looking fusion rifle, uh, the San FR4. So uh, it's got some typical uh, perks that we're familiar with, but you gotta check out the last two, ridiculous. So uh, we got Army One, then we got Skip Rounds, and you also have your uh, Injection Mold. Now the last two are sick, all right, Underdog. The weapon gains a boost to range and handling when your health is low, but check it out, now you have Danger Close. And no, that's not like Call of Duty, Danger Close. Uh, the weapon gains increased reload and handling when two or more enemies are close to you. All right, then we got a sniper rifle called the Irene RR4, and just look at this beauty. I, I love the look of all these new weapons. Uh, it's got two new scopes, a Yep, Yepaki, I remember that one, Aquila. Uh, it's got Outlaw, uh, unflinching as you can see, lightweight, casket mag, and then uh, we saw Eye of the Storm before, which uh, basically um, you become more accurate uh, the lower your health is. Now we have some more Suros siblings. We got a Suros JLB rocket launcher. Now that thing looks amazing, but ah, uh, perks are kind of lackluster. I wonder if the final build will have this version with better perks. They got like heavy payload, or flared magwell, vacuum, perfect balance, and uh, lightweight. So nothing good in my opinion, like grenades and horseshoes or warhead veneers. 
Now this is what I was using, uh, it's a new Monarchy Heavy Machine Gun, the Objection 4. Um, it's got one of the new perks, which is life support, which is uh, if you're bloodied and you get killed with it, you have a chance to recharge your health. But other than that, um, you got your same perks you're familiar with, like fitted stock, oiled frame, armor piercing rounds, and also army of one. So that is everything I got to see, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think of all this. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to the Taken King. Hope you guys are. Uh, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream, which will be on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I am out of here like Vladimir. Charging.